What if the very first warning sign of dementia wasn't forgetfulness, but a strange question? A weird sentence that sounds odd or surreal, yet quietly shows that something deeper is unraveling inside the brain. Most people dismiss these moments. They think it's a joke or just a part of aging. But in hindsight, families often say, that's when it began. Because the brain doesn't always lose memory first, sometimes it loses logic, language, and self-awareness. And the earliest red flag is a question that doesn't quite make sense. Before we dive deeper, if you haven't yet, pause and subscribe now. Turn on the notification bell to stay connected with vital health insights that could help you or someone you love catch these early signs before it's too late. This video reveals nine unusual questions that seniors start asking just before memory loss begins. Subtle clues that something is wrong long before anyone suspects dementia. Let's start with number one. Where am I supposed to be right now? Wallace, 73, had never missed an appointment. At first, his wife thought he was kidding when he asked that question suddenly while watching TV. But he asked it again at the grocery store, then again when he was resting in bed. It was like something inside him no longer knew how to place itself in time. For three long years, those strange questions kept slipping out until Wallace was finally diagnosed with Alzheimer's. A medical review found that temporal disorientation, losing awareness of time and place, is one of the earliest cognitive failures in Alzheimer's disease. The hippocampus, which anchors time and spatial memory, begins to falter. This question isn't about being lost in space. It's about a brain that's losing its ability to stay oriented in time. When it starts appearing in ordinary settings, especially without any confusion beforehand, it signals a subtle but serious change in cognitive function. Number two, did I already ask you that? Betsy, 69, was always polite and thoughtful, but two and a half years before she was diagnosed with early stage dementia, Betsy started repeating herself, then noticing it. Did I already ask you that? She'd say with a nervous laugh. It happened during breakfast while folding laundry, even while she was on the phone. Sometimes she looked embarrassed, other times annoyed with herself. A clinical study linked this kind of meta questioning where a person realizes they might be repeating to early stage memory monitoring failure. They're still aware enough to sense something's off, but not enough to stop it. This question signals a crucial in-between stage. When memory is faltering and awareness is still partly intact, that awareness creates a fragile emotional space, one where fear, shame, and confusion start to mix. Number three, why does my head feel empty? Three years before his diagnosis, Leon, 71, said this over late lunch. I don't know what I'm supposed to be thinking about. His wife thought maybe he was tired, but the phrase kept coming back. He paused mid-sentence, frowned, and said, My head feels empty again. He wasn't frustrated, just quietly puzzled. Eventually, he was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Research confirms that early dementia can interfere with working memory the brain's ability to hold and manage thoughts in real time. When the system breaks down, it can feel like mental blankness. These people aren't confused about facts. They feel mentally hollow, as if their thoughts won't load. That feeling of inner emptiness often comes before any confusion or memory loss, and it's easily overlooked. If you're following along and finding this useful, type one and hit the like button now. It helps us keep sharing vital brain health tips. Number four, Am I acting weird today? Sandra pulled her daughter aside one afternoon and asked, Am I acting strange today? You keep looking at me funny. It surprised her daughter. Nothing had seemed off. But Sandra mentioned it again two days later, and then again at a family event. She wasn't paranoid. She seemed genuine and curious, even a little worried. Her diagnosis of early Alzheimer's came nearly two years later at the age of 81. A scientific review confirmed that some people experience early-stage self-monitoring loss and sense it before others notice. They may feel like they're off, even if their behavior still seems normal to outsiders. This question isn't paranoia, it's the brain trying to check itself, but struggling. When this becomes a pattern, it reflects the early collapse of self-awareness, one of the most subtle forms of cognitive decline. Number 5. Is it normal to forget what you're doing while you're doing it? Joseph was 74 when he began asking this, after small lapses, 
Once, while washing the dishes, he just stopped, frozen, staring at a sponge. He later asked his wife that question with concern. Is it normal to forget what you're doing while you're doing it? The moments kept piling up. He even stopped halfway through tying his shoes and stood motionless for minutes. Four years after those initial episodes, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Research suggests that brief task disconnection is a hallmark of early dementia. The brain loses track of actions and changes, sequences of behavior that once ran automatically. It's like the thread of the task vanishes mid-action. These micro failures often start subtly, but when they begin to become noticeable to the person doing them, it's a critical early sign of cognitive disruption. If you're finding these clinical signs useful, type 1. If you want us to cover other topics, type 0. Your input guides exactly what we explain next. Number 6. Did I always live here? Two years before her diagnosis, Sheila, 70, asked this question in her own kitchen. Her husband thought she meant the town or state, but she was referring to the actual house they had lived in for 40 years. The question came again the following week, and again while folding towels she'd owned for decades. Eventually, she started saying the walls felt unfamiliar, like the house didn't really belong to her anymore. A large study showed that damage to the posterior cingulate cortex, the brain area responsible for spatial and autobiographical memory, can make people question where they are, even in familiar places. It's not about forgetting how to get home, it's the eerie sensation that home no longer feels familiar, when even walls you've seen for decades feel strange. It's a sign the brain has entered a dangerous lucid state. Number 7. Do you think people are watching me? About 18 months before he was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia, Norman, 74, whispered to his daughter, I think the neighbors are spying on us. At first, it sounded like a joke, but he kept glancing out the windows, then unplugged the Wi-Fi. He later asked if the TV could hear them. Soon, he refused to open the curtains and blinds at all, convinced someone might be watching. A medical study suggests that early paranoia and suspicion can appear in some types of dementia, especially Lewy body and some Alzheimer's forms. The brain begins misreading normal sounds, movements, or coincidences as threats. It's not dementia, it's misfiring pattern recognition. These suspicions aren't random. They reflect a brain that's losing its ability to correctly filter reality. Number 8. Was I always like this? When Lester, 73, broke down crying over the tragic news that stunned his wife, he had never been emotional like that. That night, he looked at her and asked, Was I always like this? He wasn't referring to that moment. He meant his whole personality. Then he went silent, like the question had surprised him. Lester was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia two and a half years later. Scientists confirm that personal confusion often emerges when the brain's self-awareness networks begin to fail. This includes the prefrontal cortex, which helps us build consistent views of who we are. When these networks weaken, people may suddenly feel like strangers to themselves. They're not just confused about memories, they're confused about their own emotional compass. These questions often arise from an unsettling inner feeling that something foundational is shifting. Number 9. Are you sure that happened? Glinda, 76, began doubting her shared memories. Her daughter would say, Remember our trip to Seattle? And Glinda would answer, Are you sure that happened? It wasn't defiance. It was quiet, sincere conviction. The photos were there, but the connection was missing. She even once stared at a birthday photo of herself and asked, When was that taken? Three years after that change, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Studies show that early dementia damages the ability to reconstruct episodic memories, the type based on personal experience. People may remember facts or places, but not events involving emotion, time, or order. This disconnect makes shared memories feel unreal or made up. When the emotional link is gone, even familiar memories can feel like stories about someone else's life. They're not just asking odd questions. They're revealing tiny fractures in the brain's foundation, long before memory loss becomes obvious. One strange question might seem harmless, but when the questions become frequent and feel off, you need to listen. Because by the time they forget what's happening, the brain may have been warning them for years. If you found this video eye-opening, 
please pause for a moment and subscribe now. Turn on notifications so you never miss important health tips that truly care about your well-being. We love hearing from you. What part of this video helped you most? Or do you have questions or experiences you want to share? Drop your thoughts below. Your comments inspire us to keep creating helpful, life-changing health content. And don't forget to share this with someone you care about. Early awareness could make all the difference.